Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing. Praise for the morning. Praise for the from the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Good morning. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I shall fail to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask you, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Now will I praise those godly men, our ancestors, each in his own time, but of others there is no memory. For when they ceased, they ceased, and they are as though they had not lived, they and their children after them. Yet these are also were godly men whose virtues have not been forgotten. Their wealth remains in their families, their heritage with their descendants. Through God's covenant with them, their family endures their posterity for their sake. And for all time their progeny will endure, their glory will never be blotted out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with the timbrel and the harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adores the lowly with the victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you and with you. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple area. He looked around at everything, and since it was already late, went out to Bethany with the twelve. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, he was hungry. Seeing from a distance a fig tree in leaf, he went over to see if he could find anything on it. When he reached it, he found nothing but the leaves. It was not the time for figs. And he said to it in reply, May no one ever eat of your fruit again. 
and his disciples heard it. They came to Jerusalem, and on entering the temple area, he began to drive out those selling and buying there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who were selling dolls. He did not permit anyone to carry anything through the temple area. Then he taught them, saying, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples, but you have made it a den of thieves. The chief priests and the scribes came to hear of it, and they were seeking a way to put him to death. Yet they feared him, because the whole crowd was astonished at his teaching. When evening came, they went out of the city. Early in the morning, as they were walking along, they saw the fig tree withered to its roots. Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus said to them in reply, Have faith in God. Amen. I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it shall be done for him. Therefore I tell you, all that you ask for in prayer, believe that you will receive it, and it shall be yours. When you stand to pray, Forgive anyone against whom you have a grievance, so that your heavenly Father may in turn forgive you your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel be written in our sins. <clears throat> the scene of today's Gospel is the Temple of Jerusalem. Jesus drew out money changers and sellers of goods from the temple area saying my house is a house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves why did jesus was so angry toward those money changers and sellers of goods at the time of jesus the money that was circulated uh, in palestine was the roman coin the coin had the inscription of, of Caesar and also the head of Caesar. The Jewish authorities considered Roman coin to put in the temple treasury as something like a desecration. So what did they do? They printed their own Jewish coin in order to put in the temple treasury as an offering. So people had to use the Roman coin in order to buy the Jewish coin to put the offering in the temple treasury. What happened was the money changers often overcharged people over and about the required amount. It was an exploitation of the poor. This is what it, you know, caused Jesus to get angry toward those money changers and their sold sellers of goods. So the Gospel reminds us that greed can destroy any human person because when a person's heart is filled with the greed, with the greed for money especially or wealth, then he turns away from God and destroys himself in the process. The second thing we learn from this Gospel story is the respect and reverence we should give to the house of God because as Jesus said God's house is a, is a prayer, it's a house of prayer so we must show respect and reverence all the time when we enter the house of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen let us pray as we stand before the Lord, we place our needs, our prayers before Him and we ask for His blessing. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, religious and laity, that they may always follow Jesus, listen to His teachings faithfully, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, in our own homes, in our homeland and also in all those places torn by 
born and violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember in a special way all those who are sick and suffering, our own loved ones in our families and the members of our parish community, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus in their pains and the sufferings and get you well from their illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us keep in silence our own intentions and also the intention of this Mass. This Mass is being offered for Jacqueline Sultan. <clears throat> it is a birthday blessings. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers of your faithful people. Bless us and help us to follow you and imitate your love and goodness in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. <clears throat> By the mystery of this mortal and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit, the vine, and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink, bless be God, forever, with the humble spirit and the contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, for my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. <clears throat> o God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name, and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with the devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant as the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always sent everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with a living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without the end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of both. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May you holy, therefore, these gifts be prayed by sending down your spirit upon them. Light the new fold, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when Sahur was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the blood of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come, we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, Lay Servants, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fought fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours in event forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Let us drink it in the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us, receive it in the receiving of the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, bring me with them even the second generation, but through your loving mercy, before me protection, my little body and healing forever. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only so the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The act of the spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Now permit me to be separated from you. The communion song, I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. Sing psalms to the name of the Lord Most High. Let us pray. <clears throat> now, yet by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you and have a safe day. For our session, we will sing the second words of morning has broken. Sweet the rain new fall, sunlit from heaven.